going on, good people? How you doing today? This is Twins Inc. talking. I'm your host today, Twins Inc. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you're doing good today on this wonderful Sunday. I am in Atlanta, Georgia, so the weather been beautiful this weekend. Yesterday was like 77. Today is going to be 78. But either way, both days feel like it's 80 plus degrees. So how you doing today? I hope good. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the chat room, go ahead and drop your location. You know what I'm saying? Where you calling from? Well, not calling, but what you're watching from. Maybe from your cell phone. But, you know, where you at though in the world? Where are you in the States? You know what I'm saying? You're in Atlanta. You're in Pittsburgh. You're in PA. You're in Georgia. You're in Vegas, California, Texas. Where you, let me know where you at, okay? Let's get to it, y'all. I'm not going to be in front of y'all long today, but I had to give you some content today. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, if you're into a business... And if you are doing streaming, YouTube, podcasting, whatever business that you're doing, you want to be consistent, right? So normally on Sundays, which is today, uh, we have the CHOP team, right? The CHOP team, you know, set the dark child. But when you set yourself up perfectly, right, your business can run itself. Meaning we have content that's going to be, out, going to be uh, dropped every Monday all up until April. So when you work hard, you get to play a little bit. Meaning... If life events come up, you know what I'm saying? Somebody gets sick or vacation or whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're not feeling good today. You don't have the energy. But guess what? We have so much content that we have already. Guess what? My brother could take a day off. And guess what? The, the You know, he's still enjoying his day with his family and friends, whatever. But the show, the chat team is still running. It's still going. So Monday morning, 7 a.m., you will get a new episode drop regarding the chat team. I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be. If you're a real supporter, you'll know it comes Monday morning at 7 a.m. on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Our Heart, Speaker, Google, all the platforms. We on those. So Anchor, well, not Anchor, we're not Anchor, but Anchor is the whole nother topic. But what I'm saying is that if you follow the, the channel, it's there. And, of course, if you're subscribing on YouTube, you know, every time episodes drop, you get that instantly. But, yes, like I said, today I'm doing an episode today on Twinsing Talk right here. And as you look at the top, yeah, right up there, right, right, right. Who's really checking for these alpha and beta men? And does it matter? Listen, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is something that has been brought to me multiple times. Um, I be in multiple rooms, clubhouse. You know, I have, I have another uh, podcast show called The Real Deal versus How You Feel. Big shout out to my co-host. We're both hosts, but my co-host, you are Miss, a.k.a. Miss I Speak Life. We're live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this stereo app stereo app it's a free app where you can have a conversation with random people but we don't have random people just me and her but people can chime in and leave in good conversation and their thought process and we speak on it but yes so with that all being said this is a topic that that, that someone asked me um in one of these clubhouses about the alpha man and beta man and i told them like me personally twins think here i don't subscribe to these alphas and beta mans because i mean honestly be real where were, where were all this alpha and beta stuff in the last 10 years? I'm like, people sometimes get caught up on these names so much. It, 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 you know what I'm saying? You have to be a certain person or you have to be an alpha, you have to be a beta, and if you're this, you're that, right? I don't fit into that. But, you know, because I am talking about it, I got to give you some knowledge. Got to drop a little bit of gems because, you know what I'm saying, I, I don't want to speak just from facts and or, let me sorry, I don't want to speak from feelings, feelings and opinion. I'm going to give you some information here, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching me live on YouTube, because I do a live to recording every Sunday at 3 p.m., right? So, if you're watching this on, you know, if you listen on podcasts on Monday, I appreciate you. If you listen to me on the Apple Podcasts and Spreaker and Spotify, I appreciate you for listening. But if you want to see the visual, we go live on YouTube. So, subscribe to Twins Inc. on YouTube. T W I N S I N C Twins Inc. Same as Twins Inc. Top, but it's just Twins Inc. And you'll see all of the content that I put up. So Twins Inc. Top, the Chat Team, the new, the new you versus the real you. Everything that I do when it comes to podcasts and speaking. Sometimes you may see a little gaming because I do game as well. But back to the main topic. So if you're watching here on, on live on YouTube with me or YouTube period, you will see I put up the little definition that popped up when you go on, you know, the famous Google search. And you type in alpha man and beta man, right? Or males, whatever. So this is what they say here when, they, when it says alpha males, right? What is an alpha male and what is a beta male? So an alpha male are those at the top of the social status hierarchy. Alphas are typical described as, in, as the real man. 
So what they're saying is that if you're an alpha, you're a real man. Okay, that's their definition. Hey, it is what it is. Beta males, right? Uh, beta males, they're weak, submissive, subordinate guys who are low status and only get access to mates once women decide to settle down and go searching for a nice guy. Wow. Wow. That's 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 kind of interesting there. So what they're saying is that all men that are nice guys are beta males, and only the alpha males. <laughs> Listen, I just gave y'all what they say what these titles are, which I don't subscribe to. But let me tell you what I do subscribe to, right? Because like I said, in the last ten years, I haven't heard anything about alpha and beta males, right? And prior to the last ten years, men and women have been running the world from dust until now right so all of a sudden now these titles alpha man and beta males are has become a big huge topic out there right well when i was growing up i was told two things that as a young man either i'm gonna be a leader or i'm gonna be a follower right this is twin zinc speaking for my, me personally right when i think about a leader i think someone who can lead just like the word is lead leaders but someone who doesn't need to be told to do something they just do it Meaning as someone who takes the initiative, um, for example, um, if you play sports, right, you know what I'm saying, everyone can't be the team captain. Someone has to be voted in and, you know, someone who usually that people go to and trust as being the leader, right? And then at that point, once you have one person as a captain, then I guess everyone's a follower. I mean, when you look at, when you look at things, if you look in the world that we live in today, so if you won't, you know, if you won't look at this route, the president is the leader. They're going to be one president. It ain't presidents is one president and then below, people below him. So you think about that. If the president is the leader, everyone else below him is considered to be a follower. With that being said, everyone's a beta person. If you think like that, right? I mean, I'm just keeping it basic. I'm not trying to get too deep in this, but it's just that simple. How I look at the person that, um, you know, when they say alpha is the top, and I get it. Those those are leaders, right? When I think of alpha, so when when we ask you what does alpha means, the twins, I think a person who's a leader can be an alpha. You know, what I'm saying someone who go out there and create their own business, right? Meaning that people who run these big organizations or do their own thing and make money from it, right? Meaning that they're a leader, right? They took the initiative, they sacrificed their time and everything to launch their own business. I mean, you think of these big companies out there, you know, what I'm saying Coca Cola, whatever. Someone at one point say, you know what? I want to do something different. I want to start this company, and I'm going to do this. And then, boom, that person with the idea maybe got got in a room with a group of people, right? And they collectively came together and created this business, right? So those group of people will be considered leaders, right? And then everyone else who worked for the company will be considered beta, right? Because they didn't create the company, but they worked for them, right? But how they got betas in here as weak, submissive men, I think I'm an alpha and beta man. I think I'm both. And some people say, well, you can't be both. Um, that's wrong. You can be both. And you can be person, like, no one's born a leader. You know what I'm saying? You have to be pushed if you have the right guidance and the right people that lead you in the right, di- right direction, right? You know, you, you can't come out the room and like, you know what? Well, you know what? I'm not going to cry. I'm going to talk because I'm a leader. <laughs> no, it don't work like that. You, you go through life. You, you learn things as you go. It's based on what you're being exposed to is what who's being taught, whatever's being led to you, whatever, you know, those things do matter. Can you be a better man and go from beta to being a leader? Yes, you can. It's just that simple. Think about this for a second. You know, you think about Michael Jordan. I think Michael Jordan's a leader, but did he start out as a leader? No, no. He had to work hard to get to where he's at. And I'll give you a prime example. You know, everyone knows his story. Jordan got cut. Right? His freshman year in high school playing basketball. But if he was a leader, he wouldn't get cut, right? If he was that male dominant person that they what they say his definition of what an alpha male is, right? But I don't think he was a weak man. None of that. I mean he just he just at that time in his life he wasn't where he needed to be. But what did he do? He went back, he practiced all summer long, got better, grew. Now that was just the next right there. But he still worked on his craft because he didn't like the feeling of being not able to make the team. So he worked his butt off to get as better, as good as his brother. Now, that's a whole other story to get into, but his brother was like the real MJ. He was just short. 
But the point I'm trying to make is that he worked hard, and now we know Jordan for being who he is. You know, six and zero in, in the finals. You know, uh, leader of his own brand, Jordan Brand, a billionaire. I think he had two point two billion, whatever. But when you think of him now, you think of him a leader. But did he start as a leader? No. But did he get to? Did he work hard to become a leader and be strong in, in his skill that he's in? Yes. And you know, if you don't understand that concept, then I don't know what to tell you. I just don't. But to say that a man, a beta man, is weak, I don't think they're weak at all. At the end of the day, everyone, it's like, I say this for business, everyone can be an entrepreneur, right? You have to have workers, right? But there's no shot to those workers. There's a lot of workers out there who make great money for themselves. It don't make them weak because they work for somebody else. It's just that, you know what? I don't want to put the effort in it as being the full time boss or leader. I want to be a person that I come in, do my job, get paid very well, enjoy my life, and X, Y, Z. That don't make you less of a man. It doesn't. Not at all. Now, that's me, Twins ain't speaking. You make other people on this platform say that. Me, I don't. I'm, I'm, a, I'm more of a realist here. I'm not, I'm not going to act like I'm something that I'm not. I think I'm a combination of both. I create my own platform. I worked hard everything I do. Um, I still work for, you know, I still work in Copa America. But as far as uh, women decide to settle down with nice guys, because I consider myself a nice guy. I don't consider myself being a, a, a old. Um now that doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, if this may be a whole other topic, but if a woman only sells with you because you're a nice guy or because you're a beta guy, then her 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 I wouldn't say her uh her her raising needs to be questioned because at this point she don't know what a man is or what a man should bring to the table or what she's actually looking for. Or do you want the guy who's going to be a provider, protector, leader? Or you just want a guy. I mean, yes, I understand men, women, women are just as competitive as men. Women, ladies out there, they do want men who are very successful, who has has a swag, who can, you know, control the room, that, that confidence, right? So that would be considered the alpha man. But guess what? The better guys can do that too. But we don't have to be, we don't have to be the CEOs. We can be great in our own skills so that we have, right? But anyway, but yes, once again, um, and <laughs> alpha man typically described as, yeah, the real man. That doesn't make any sense to me. Any man out there that goes out there and, and get it is considered a real man. Any man who goes out there in regards, if you create your own company or work for somebody, you're still a real man. Because I know a lot of men out there that don't do that at all. A lot of men stay home or a lot of men complain about the system. Oh, the system this, the system that. Listen, I'm, I, I consider and agree with you, yes. Is there a problem out there? Yes. But... Am I going to keep sitting in that same area in my life, keep trying to blame somebody for what's going on in the world, or am I going to go out there and make it happen? And I know a lot of alpha males, and I know a lot of beta males who go out there and make it happen, regardless of what, you know, what's put up a wall against us with all the things we got, all the hurdles that we got to go through as far as, you know, being a black. As you, If you watch me on YouTube, you can see I'm a black man. So regardless of me being alpha or beta, I still got hurdles I got to do with every day regardless of which category that I'm in. Maybe me being more alpha may give me more privileges or more confidence or may have more money and resources to do certain things, but those same things still apply even if I was in the category as a beta. I think I'm both. I don't think I'm one or the other. I think I I fit in both categories. But, I mean, could I be better than that? But, once again, I don't feed into that narrative as far as being one title. I consider myself my leader. I consider myself, when I'm around a group of other men who think like me, I can speak for myself. When I do speak, they listen to what I'm saying. Even if I dis- even if they disagree or agree, we can still have a dialogue conversation, edgy conversation. We ain't, we're not cussing each other out and being disrespectful to each other. You know, we both can receive it and go back and forth. And in the day, we can come to a ground level of understanding where you're coming from, where I'm coming from. All right, let's do X, Y, Z. Let's move forward. But, you know, based on what they're saying with these these alpha is like, huh, whatever I say is the word and that's it. You'll be a fool to believe those things right there. So, you know, I just want to be very quick, you know, just be, you know, give a little breakdown, get a little understanding about this alpha and beta thing. I wouldn't feed much into it, ladies. Men, I wouldn't feed much into it. Um, I think a, a, a great mentor or someone that I look, um, look up to, 
as far as in the social media and marketing and, and, and YouTube and all this good stuff is this guy named Antoine um, Daniels, right? You can go check him out at AntoineDaniels.com. Um, one thing he did speak about is that he made the men that he worked with, he made sure they become the best version of they self. And I'm going to echo that same message, but I want to give kudos to where kids need to go and give people their flowers because, you know, big shout out to him. Look, he said, you know, you can copy him. He don't mind. So you, you, that's fine. Copy me. I'm cool with that. <laughs> and I, I'm doing that. But I want to give the respect where respect is due. But men, all men, from boys to young men to grown men, whatever you are, focus every day to be the best version of yourself. Forget what the world says. Forget what people want. Forget what you see on TV and these social media and these and these ladies out there. Focus on being the best version of yourself. When you become the best version of yourself, everything will fall in place. And also the um, second part of the question, when I asked uh, who's really checking for these alpha and beta men and does it matter, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, with the group of circle men that I know and people that I, the group of circle the men that I know, and even men I don't know, I don't hear group men talking about, yeah, I'm an alpha, I'm an alpha, I'm an alpha. I'm a beta, I'm a beta, I'm a beta. No, those, these are not conversations that men are having. Is there a ranking of men? Is there a ranking of women? Yes, there's always going to be a ranking. You no, know, there's always a one, and there's always a ten. There's always going to be a, a captain. There's always going to be followers. It, it just doesn't matter what it is. There's always someone to be ahead. You know, I work in corporate America, and um. I'm a senior analyst, but guess what? I still got a senior. I still have a senior manager that I report to, and that senior manager has director they got to report to. So it doesn't matter what you do. There's always someone you're gonna have to be either reporting to, unless you're your own your own boss. You know what I'm saying? You run your own company. Like for example, I have a company called Twins Inc. I'm the boss of that company. The way it moves is based on how I want to move it. I don't have to report to nobody and say, "Hey, can I do this? Can I do that? Can I do this? Can I switch it up?" No, I just do it because this is my company. Understand what I'm saying? So, the only people really checking, you know, checking these things out is probably gonna be nine out of ten or eight out of ten. It's gonna be ladies. They're gonna be checking for that. You know, they they checking if you know. I don't know what they checking on honestly because in this day and age, I'm not trying to change the subject, but a lot of, in this day and age, a lot of women don't know really how to be women. And when I say don't know how to be women, they don't know how to be raised or taught how to be future wives. Right? Everyone wants to be independent and that's masculine energy. I'm going to say this real quick before I get up out of here. Um, most men are raised to be protector providers, leaders, right? This is, this is what we told from day one. Does every man do it? No, we don't. We do most men try to do it. Yes. So when, when, a, when a man says, you know, this is what I bring to the table. I bring resources. I bring protection. I bring, I have my own house, my own business, my own car, right? Those are things that we bring to the table as a man, right? As a woman, if I ask you what you bring to the table and you say, oh, I bring a house, I got my own car, uh, I run my own business, that's masculine energy. Do those things matter? Yes, they do. Are those things good? Yes, they are. But you can't bring to the same, you can't bring the same thing to the table that I'm working hard to do every day as a man to the table as a woman. And the reason why I'm saying that is this. As a man, I just asked my wife this question. I said, baby, if I came to you talking about what do I bring to the table, and I said, baby, I can cook, I can clean, I know I wash clothes, I know I wash dishes, I'm very nurturing, I know I raise kids. If I brought those to the table as my main accolades, Wife would be like, hell no, I'm not talking to you. But guess what? Those are things that women don't bring to the table, right? Now, fellas, it's always a plus to know how to cook and clean, do those things. It's always a good caviar because if your, wife, your woman get hurt, you can hold it down instead of going buy McDonald's and fast food every time. So know how to cook is a plus, fellas. So don't, I'm not dismissing that. Know how to cook and maintain those things is always a plus. But as a man, you should be able to be provider, protect, whatever. You should... All men should now all men should know how to go in and work a toolbox. And when I say work a toolbox, they should know what a flathead is and a Phillip head is. They should know the difference of it. I just watched a meeting this morning where a woman told her dude, hey, can you go in the garage and grab me a Phillip head? Right? And she was like, 10 minutes, she was waiting. She's like, where the hell dude went? And she went in the garage, like, baby, what's going on? 
And dude was like, with dead face serious. He said, babe, I'm so frustrated. Like, I can't find this uh, Phillips head because all the tools say Stanley. Now, some of y'all may, may not understand this. Some of y'all do. Some of you might get this and some of you don't. But that's the maker of the brand. <laughs> You'll catch it. Some of you won't catch it, but yeah. The dude didn't know the difference between the Phillips head and the, Phillip, and the flat head was. And he was stuck. And that's a problem. But the point I'm trying to make is that, ladies, having all those things as being your own boss, your owner, crib, car, paid off, that's all plus. But outside of that, what else do you bring to the table? Do you bring that nurturing part? Do you bring that supportness? Do you bring that listening? Do you bring that peace? Those are things that most men want to hear. We're not saying we want a dumb female. All those things that you do have is definitely a plus. But bring in, come to the race and say, hey, I'm very feminine. Those are things that we want to hear. But anyway, I'm, that's a whole other rebel hole that I get into all the time in these conversations. But I just really talk real quick to y'all about this beta man, alpha man. And honestly, fellas, do not focus on these things. Be the best version of yourself. Be a leader is one thing I'll say. Just be a leader. If everyone's going to jump off the bridge, be the leader. Say, you know what? Nah, y'all have fun jumping. I'm going to be in lane, but I'm going to walk instead of jumping off the bridge because you know what? I, I want to live because I'm forward thinking. But that's all I have today, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to be a quick short video about <laughs> these alpha and beta men. Doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is Twin Zing speaking, so to each his own, to a do matter too. But uh, let me know how you feel. Drop a comment, like, listen, learn, comment, whatever, all the good things. Um, once again, we'll be back next Sunday with the Chop Team live recording with Seth the Dark Child. And no telling what the topic would be. And any guests want to be on the show, you know, drop an uh, email at info at twinzing.net or subscribe to any of the social media you see below. Yeah, right down here where it says Twin Zing YouTube, the Chop Team Twitter, Twin Zing, was that Twitch? Whatever. Twin Zing is on all platforms. The top 10 is on IG as well and Gmail and YouTube. So we're growing here, people. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for all the supporters out there. Um, also, check me out Monday morning at, well, not Monday morning, but Monday evening at 3 p.m. Eastern time on Stereo App with Miss I Speak Life. Once again, the real deal versus how you feel. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to me today on the Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm out. Later.